welcome back to my channel if you already subscribed if you're not subscribed welcome to my channel my name is bubbles and on um, this video i'm starting off how i wanted it to starting route to 108 colon northeast um i don't really know what this video is gonna be originally i was just gonna film me getting my hair taken out Get these micro links that I've had in my hair for two fucking years. It's like I'm kidding. It felt like two years that I had in my hair for a month and some change. Y'all know I don't keep hairstyles in that long, especially like weaves, you know, braids. Okay, cool, maybe. But a damn weave this long, like when I tell y'all this shit is so ready to be taken out. Part of my tracks are already coming out. I don't know if that's healthy. I don't know if that means my hair fell out because it's literally attached to my hair. I'm just glad that finally i'm getting this shit taken out and the reason why i say finally and the reason why i have waited so long to get them taken well not even waited but the reason why it took me so long to get them taken out is because i could not find anybody to do it um i was not i knew i wasn't going to go back to atlanta to get them taken out but i just had a really hard time trying to find people up here so when i kept searching michael links um only white hair salons will come up and I didn't really like that so I was like what the fuck am I gonna do but um I finally found some black boutiques and then the problem became my dumb ass had went ahead and booked my braid appointment I had already booked my braid appointment um for Tuesday and did not have a way to get my hair taken out yet so literally it was yesterday and I'm like oh my god I need to find somebody I need to find somebody and today is Friday did not say that today is Friday so just imagine it's a Thursday and I'm trying to get my hair taken out by Tuesday so either Friday Saturday or Monday and even Saturday is like a scratch because who the fuck finna be working on Saturdays but some people work I'm trying to eat now because they have a mask policy I mean everybody has a fucking mask policy but I just don't think they're gonna be with all that me eating shit in front of them so yeah i'm um, trying to eat now this is my breakfast but it's literally 11 50 so late ass breakfast for me i have a little parfait i love parfaits the grocery store kind these shits are it but i was eating strawberries i don't know what it is about me but blueberries and me just don't mix at all mm, yummy. the appointment says it's going to take 45 minutes for her to take out my weave so i I hope that they can wash it and blow dry it so that's one less thing I have to worry about for Tuesday. But if not, then you know I just wash and blow dry it on my own. The reason why I really wanted a professional to do it is because I want to trim my hair and um, just kind of get rid of some dead ends because I've been straightening my hair. Not a lot, honestly, to say that I had a heat hairstyle. I only straightened it like once every other week while i had it but obviously you know it still got heat damage and i was putting on a pretty high heat level so yeah i'm just hoping that my curls are still there y'all like that is my i'm really scared that they're not and i've already kind of like told myself like bubbles it's a it's a chance that they might not be there i'm gonna see you guys when i get to my fucking appointment i think i've talked enough and um explain everything for the day um like i said you know i don't know if this is gonna be a transformation or a vlog or whatever because um, I will be getting my hair done on Tuesday, and I don't know when I'm gonna get my nails done, but hopefully next week as well. Yeah, that's not hard, but listen, so um, I just got out of my hair appointment. I'm so glad that she was able to do everything. And y'all, she was fast as fuck. Like she, like I didn't book for the blow dry and the shampoo cause I didn't know like if I had time and all that. My skin looks so bad. Maybe I need to go back to my camera, but <laughs> I'm gonna wash my face when I get home cause this shit looks bad. But anywho, um, y'all, when I tell you a girl was certain, like pleasantly supplied, what? Hold on, let me just back it up. <laughs> Your girl was pleasant. Ugh, okay. 
try this one more time. Your girl was pleasantly surprised just now. Like, it's always nerve-wracking going to a new um, hairstylist. But she was so, like... For once, she was generous with her time because I didn't even book for a shampoo and a blow dry. And she did it with no problem. And I like how she was so knowledgeable. Like, she knew what she was talking about. And I didn't even know what the fuck I had in my hair. Um, she said she had an invisible sew-in, which I don't really know what that means yet. But um, she took it out for me. And I can tell, like, not a lot of my hair came out. So that was good. And I was asking her questions like, you know, do you think my hair is going to go back to normal hair texture? And she recommended that for a month straight, I just use like Cantu in my hair and see if it's tighten back up. Obviously, I'm finna get them braids, so I won't be able to like do a really heavy um, hair care routine. But I'm going to try and make this blowout last till my hair appointment so I don't have to blow dry it again. And she just she did put like heat protecting and stuff she even gave me recommendations on what type of heat protecting to use on my hair but i'm just keeping my hair like this for the next few days and i'm glad i got this done it's now 126 so literally in an hour and 30 minutes less than an hour and 30 minutes she took the micro links out blow dry my hair washed it conditioned it and yeah it was good and she clipped my ends so i'm really happy about that and i thought my ends were gonna be horrible but they weren't she said they weren't that bad she only clipped like a half inch off and my curl pattern like it's still there obviously it's still like existent but it's not like how it was i don't know like it's definitely looser but i would say only in specific places and it's doable you know what i'm saying but yeah so i'm gonna go back home i just wanted to tell y'all how great of an experience that was i gave her the highest tip that the damn square thing let me put on there because she was amazing and it really was a good experience and you know i'm already i'm always like anxious but she really like made all my anxiety go away like I couldn't ask for a better hair appointment and then on such short notice like she bomb um what's this hair place called hair candy beauty in columbia south carolina she knows what she's talking about she cares about your hair's natural health and she's like really informative so if y'all need any type of styles and i mean they do braids um natural hair sew-ins micro links they do all types of stuff here so if y'all need your hair done i would recommend y'all come here i'm definitely gonna come back here if i need you know a service like that done I'm kind of running late to my appointment and this is the first time that I'm going to her so that's why I'm just like you know what let me just go ahead and go to town but yeah so today is now Tuesday um my appointment was supposed to be at 4 but she pushed it back to 5 30 which was totally fine with me I just got another nap in um I still don't think I showed y'all the inspo hairstyle so I'm gonna put a picture up on the screen um i have never gotten a hairstyle like this ever like i have gotten stitch braids before and i have gotten box braids before but to combine both i've never gotten anything like that and i would really call those more like fulani braids and i have never had fulani braids so i'm excited to try something new i'm so ready to get my freaking hair done because literally now in the mornings all i have to do is my edges i want this transformation to be different in the way of i don't want y'all to I feel like a lot of young people watch me. I don't want y'all to think that y'all need to have your hair, nails, lashes, etc. done. So like with this transformation, I'm sorry guys. This is so annoying. But yeah, so like with this transformation, I made sure that everything I was doing, I was doing it for myself. And not to like please, you know, this societal standard that you have to be done, whether that means your hair, nails, lashes, whatever, in order to be attractive. I don't know if that makes sense to y'all but yeah i just wanted the transformation to be different and i am not really glad that my appointments are spread out y'all know usually i have my appointments like all in the same day on the same two days and literally last time y'all seen me was saturday and i was tuesday come to find out my damn nail appointment won't be up until this saturday so literally this is gonna be like a week-long transformation but i feel like i'm talking too much so i'm just gonna show you guys when i get there um i'm really excited to get my hair done
Like, I, I already know y'all gonna fuck at me. But, let's see. I don't want to tell y'all, yo, this 13 though with the cinematic feature, okay, you kind of giving camera quality a little bit. Y'all, I know y'all ain't seen me in some days, y'all like, bitch, you got your hair done. At the light, turn it. right onto Fountain Lakeway. Um, yeah, I know, I'm sorry about that. Um, your girl is currently, it's Saturday now, mm. by the way. So, a few days have passed. I did tell y'all that my appointments were a little bit more spread out this time. You know, I had to find... Not all new people, but I had to get new people to do, um, like I found a new nail tech and then the girl who did my hair, that was her first time that she did my hair. But yeah, let me go ahead and get into her right quick. Let me give her her shine before, you know, I get my own stuff or whatever. So the girl who did my hair, let me take it down so y'all can actually see what it's giving or whatever, even though I already know I'm going to little Turn video. right. Okay, so I had to lay the edges down. I don't know if they're looking good or not, but I'm just going to my nail appointments, so it's not that big of a deal if they don't. But yeah, so... This is what my hair is giving y'all. Like I said, this is my first time trying these type of braids and I actually really, really like them. These braids, I really love them because they're like so effortless. Like literally all I gotta do in the morning is my edges and that's fucking it, you know what I'm saying? And with college, that's what I need. I don't need a goddamn wig when I gotta flat iron it and straighten it and baby hairs and all that shit. And then when they get to lifting, you know, within the week or the week and a half, you know, it's annoying as hell. So I like this because it's super effortless. I've been wrapping my hair up, y'all, because I was like, I want this shit to last. Like, I'm not trying to having to be getting a new hairstyle soon. Um, I love my braids. These took like what five hours or so, and I would say she did like so good, and I would say fast. Like, I don't know how long these braids are supposed to take, but she did good as fuck. <laughs> But yeah, so the girl did good as fuck. Um, I definitely do think I'll be going back to her because she was cool and she had a good taste in music. I said I'm not gonna be doing a facial with y'all, so a bitch is like high key mad right now, and I'm trying to push through it because you know I'm about to be in front of a lady, but literally I want to cry on the way here, and I'm like, bitch, you can't fucking cry. Like you just can't do that. So um, literally, I'm gonna try to keep my my emotions together until I get back home. And I already said, before I go home, you know, I'm going to get me a nice something to eat because I haven't eaten any breakfast. I bought some granola bars, but that's not no fucking breakfast. That's part of a balanced breakfast, but it's not a breakfast. But, um, yeah, your girl is very mad and emotional right now. I know y'all couldn't tell from the beginning, but like I said, I'm tired of doing that fake shit with y'all. So, yeah, the real tea is that I'm upset. I'm upset. But uh, I'm trying to hold it together until after my appointment, and I'm getting some food, and I'm going to go home. And when I go home, I might play a little playlist and... You know, feel what I need to feel, and then yeah. Let me touch this girl. I'm outside, and I'm gonna type text. I said text, then I'm gonna talk to y'all again. Okay, y'all. So I'm just gonna talk to y'all as much as I can before she tells me to come inside. But yeah, um, your girl is very I feel like people got me fucked up, like on some real shit. I'm just so fucking annoyed. I think I'm about to cry now. I don't know how to explain it. Like I used to be like a big cry baby. And I kind of still am, but it's like, it's harder for me to cry now. Like, I done been through so much shit. And y'all gonna be like, bitch, you have everything in life. Y'all have no fucking idea what goes on behind the cameras. Y'all have no fucking idea. Like, none at all. And just because a bitch has nice shit does not mean that her life is nice. So just because people have nice things does not mean that their life is good. Materials do not equal quality of life. And I'm gonna tell you that right now. But, yeah, um, it'd be a lot of shit that go on behind the scenes. And I try not to... I don't know, I just kind of get numb to that shit, so sometimes I, like, just don't even feel like I can cry anymore, but, like, this shit here is just, like, striking another chord in me, so I probably am gonna go home and cry afterwards. I feel like we always show, or on YouTube at least, we always show, like, the good, happy parts. We never show out the sad parts. Y'all need to see that shit, too. I'm just gonna see y'all when I get inside here. Um, As far as my nails are concerned, I have one that is already off. I had to cut this one because it was lifting. I didn't want it to hurt me. She's probably like, bitch, what the fuck happened to your nails? But no, literally, like, when your nail is, then the best thing to do is to cut it. Because if you, like, if you keep hitting that shit, that shit hurts so bad. So, um, yeah. But I'm getting, like, French tip designs. And then I'm getting my toes done, too. I'm going to see y'all inside when I start getting my nails done. I was good on my own, that's the way it was.
I'm just checking out and taking a shot home and guys like, no, I'm gonna take myself a little bit. So I got some spicy turkey milk with a pickle spear, no tomatoes, and I got them with shabbat bread. So your girl has made it back home. I made it back home like 30 minutes ago, but I had to take a shit. I literally think I just shit everything that I just ate. And if that's TMI, then I reset it, so whatever. But yeah, so um, I don't even know what this is anymore, but we're just gonna go with the flow. So I I don't know why I do this shit. Am I the only person who does this? I come home and I still have on my mask and like I will wear my mask for like an hour, two hours. Usually today I have to remind me to take it off, but I just, I don't know why I always do that. Once I put it on my neck, I kind of forget that I have it on. But yeah, so I never really got into my nails, so we're going to get into these real quick, like. So they just like fall colors, and she did like crocodile on top, which I think is really cute. And I like this because it's going to last me, um, you know, in November, and I'll be like festive, but still not like too festive. Like I wasn't going to get no Halloween nails, and literally tomorrow's Halloween, and I wasn't going to get, you know anything too novemberish but i just didn't want nails that weren't gonna go with like an everyday look so yeah i think these are cute and they'll go with everything or whatever oh this will be so cute when i wear my tongue then i got a ring i got a ring that matches this color that's gonna be hella cute for real I'm sorry. <laughs> you, you like me, bro. I just feel like he's gonna tell myself. <laughs> nah, it's gonna hurt. This one gonna hurt. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Ooh. <laughs> now, that's my worst hair. Part first. That's not. The girl is done with her wax, um, y'all. <laughs> that shit was fucking. I ain't gonna say it was brutal, and it really don't be that bad because I don't care. Don't just apply this to waxes, but just in general, pain does not last forever. Whether it's a breakup or a broken nail or a fucking Brazilian waxes, just remember yeah. the pain does not I'm last like forever. Street. Okay. But um, definitely, you know, while I was getting it done, I was like, oh my God, I'm gonna die. <laughs> like that shit, that shit was, woo. So your girl has gotten her wax and even though, you know, the process was not the easiest, I feel pretty accomplished that I got that done. So accomplished that I'm about to take my ass home and take a nap because, woo. <laughs> I don't know, I just got sleepy. I think laying there, I just got sleepy or whatever. But I don't know, I just wanna go home and lay down. I have like all these other plans for today and I probably still don't get them done but for the next hour or so I just need to lay out. This video is so all over the place. I hope I like edit it. I, I mean, we, who are we talking about? We talking about me here. I'm the fucking queen of editing. So I already know I'm gonna edit it in a way that it makes sense and all that. But yeah, I know this video is so fucking drawn out and all that. If y'all still hear it, you're a true baddie and I fucking love you, okay? So I'll see you guys later smooches okay i gotta tell y'all i did break one of my nails really nigga i love that for me i started to text my nails and be like hey can i come back but i was like nah i ain't gonna get on her nerves this early but trust and believe it's killing me in the inside because there's no way in hell i don't book my nails that fast